Hello, this will be all about special effects. I'm standing in front of the green screen. We will call the video from this camera right here clip number one. And we will call the video from the camera over here clip number two. First thing I'm going to do is snap my fingers. You can snap them as many times as you want. The uh, purpose of snapping the fingers is to make an audio uh, click that uh, looks like a straight line, a vertical line going up and down on the audio track. I will show you that later when we get to the editor. I use Magic's uh, Movie Edit Pro 2013 for editing. And this is all about editing and special effects and so on. And the finger snapping will uh, allow me to synchronize uh, the two cameras so that I can talk and go from one camera to the other. First thing I'm going to do is use this mic. We have a nice Elvis mic here. And I'm going to plug that into the camcorder right now. And the Elvis mic is now plugged in. I'll tap it. And we will be using that mic and this uh, clip, which I will now call clip number three. And so it has a different audio track. I will put in something in the background behind this green screen by chroma keying the green so that it disappears. It becomes like a window. The green just disappears and the track behind it is visible. And the track behind it can be a still picture or it can be a video. And I'll show you that also on the uh, uh, screenshot from the Magic's uh, movie editing system here in a little bit. So this is with the Elvis mic which improves the sound. And my Canon cam camcorder, which is a, a Vixia HF10 camcorder, has a mic input. Most cameras do not. This one does. So now let's go on to other things with special effects. And now one other little uh, trick while we're standing here in front of the green screen. We'll leave the green screen as it is and chroma key the shirt, which is a pink shirt, so it's a different color from the green screen. And it is something similar to myself, so a lot of me will disappear when I chroma key the pink shirt and we see what is on the track behind it. Because when you chroma key something, it just more or less disappears and becomes a window and you can look through that window to see the track uh, behind whatever it happens to be. Now we'll take off the pink shirt and uh, use the dark green sweater and see if we can chroma key myself just about out of existence except for the head. The first thing I do with the Magix video editing software, I upload the uh, clips I have uh, in this particular screenshot. You see track one, track two, track three, track four. Track one is the video uh, of clip number one, and track two is the audio of clip number one, track three the video of clip number two, and track four the audio of clip number two. And you notice uh, the little red cursor near the center of the screen there, the up and down vertical red line that lines up with the first finger snapping. You see those audio clicks that are very uh, easy to spot in track two and track four, which are the audio tracks. So I just line them up and now those two clips are synchronized. Now once I get them synchronized, I can start uh, editing the videos in such a way that uh, I will be looking at clip number one, the video of uh, number one, and I can uh, go to clip number two, and it will look something like this. Hello, this will be all about special effects. I'm standing in front of the green screen. We will call the video from this camera right here clip number one, and we will call the video from the camera over here clip number two.
and then I can put uh, something in the background of uh, either clip because they have the green uh, screen there that I can chroma key and then I can put uh, something in the background just like here if I wanted to I could use green right here and I could put anything I want in that picture and speaking of what I put in those pictures uh, when I have a green screen I purchased stock footage from a company called Footage Firm which is a very good uh, place to buy stock footage they have lots and lots of different low-cost royalty-free stock footage. Royalty-free means I can use it in any of my productions any way I want to and uh, the stock footage uh, can be a city like Las Vegas or uh, it can be a mountain or it can be uh, rivers, whatever, whatever I happen to want I, I'll just go to footage firm and look at what they've got and purchase it and then I can stand in front of a green screen and then put in a a picture of Las Vegas in the background of a video of uh, some Las Vegas hotel. So getting stock footage is one of the things you want to do. You can also get free, not only royalty free, the royalty free means you can use it any way you want to, but free, uh, if it's free royalty free, that means you don't have to pay anything for the right to use it. And there are free stock footage sources available such as YouTube and um, what are some of the others? There's uh, the Internet Archive has some uh, royalty free free stock footage, but just uh, search around, you'll find some stock footage that you can put in the background of your videos, and then uh, let us go on and try some other video effects.